In mathematics, Hurwitz's theorem is a theorem of Adolf Hurwitz (1859–1919), published posthumously in 1923, solving the Hurwitz problem for finite-dimensional unital real non-associative algebras endowed with a positive definite quadratic form. The theorem states that if the quadratic form defines a homomorphism into the positive real numbers on the non-zero part of the algebra, then the algebra must be isomorphic to the real numbers, the complex numbers, the quaternions or the octonions. Such algebras, sometimes called Hurwitz algebras, are examples of composition algebras. The theory of composition algebras has subsequently been generalized to arbitrary quadratic forms and arbitrary fields. Hurwitz's theorem implies that multiplicative formulas for sums of squares can only occur in 1, 2, 4 and 8 dimensions, a result originally proved by Hurwitz in 1898. It is a special case of the Hurwitz problem, solved also in Radon 1922. Subsequent proofs of the restrictions on the dimension have been given by Ekman 1943 using the representation theory of finite groups and by Lee 1948 and Chevalier 1954 using Clifford algebras. Hurwitz's theorem has been applied in algebraic topology to problems on vector fields on spheres and the homotopy groups of the classical groups and in quantum mechanics to the classification of simple Jordan algebras. Topic: <laughs> Euclidean Hurwitz algebras. Topic. Definition A Hurwitz algebra or composition algebra is a finite-dimensional not necessarily associative algebra A with identity endowed with a nondegenerate quadratic form Q such that Q A B. Topic. Q A Q B if the underlying coefficient field is the reals and Q is positive definite, so that A, B one half Q A plus B minus Q A minus Q B is an inner product, then A is called a Euclidean Hurwitz algebra. If A is a Euclidean Hurwitz algebra and A is in A, define the involution and right and left multiplication operators by equals minus a plus 2 a 1 1 l a b equals a b r a b equals b a display style display style a caret asterisk equals a plus two a one one l a b equals ab r a b equals ba. Evidently, the involution has period two and preserves the inner product and norm. These operators have the following properties: the involution is an antiautomorphism, i.e. A B asterisk equals B asterisk A asterisk A A asterisk Topic A two one A asterisk A L A asterisk Topic L A asterisk R A asterisk R A asterisk so that the involution on the algebra corresponds to taking adjoints re A B topic re B A if re X X plus X asterisk two equals X one one re A B C equals re A B C 
L A two Topic L A two R A two R A two so that A is an alternative algebra. These properties are proved starting from the polarized version of the identity A B A B equals A A B B two A B C D equals A C B D plus A D B C Display style display style two A B C D equals A C B D plus add B C setting B Topic one or D one yields L A asterisk Topic L A asterisk and R C asterisk R C asterisk Hence re A B Topic A B one one A B asterisk one Topic B A one one Re B A Similarly re A B C Topic A B C one one A B C asterisk one Topic B A asterisk C asterisk one B C A asterisk one Topic a B C one one Re A B C Hence Ab asterisk C Topic Ab C asterisk B A C Topic one B asterisk A C one B A C asterisk Topic B A C so that ab asterisk B A by the polarized identity a two C D Topic A C A D A asterisk A C D so L A asterisk L A Topic A two applied to one this gives a asterisk a A two replacing a by a asterisk gives the other identity substituting the formula for a asterisk in l a asterisk l a topic l a asterisk a gives l a 2 l a 2 topic classification It is routine to check that the real numbers R, the complex numbers C and the quaternions H are examples of associative Euclidean Hurwitz algebras with their standard norms and involutions. There are moreover natural inclusions R C H 
Analyzing such an inclusion leads to the Cayley Dixon construction, formalized by A. A. Albert. Let A be a Euclidean Hurwitz algebra and B a proper Unital subalgebra, so a Euclidean Hurwitz algebra in its own right. Pick a unit vector J in A orthogonal to B. Since J, 1. Topic. Zero. It follows that J asterisk minus J and hence J two equals minus one. Let C be subalgebra generated by B and J. It is unital and is again a Euclidean Hurwitz algebra. It satisfies the following Cayley-Dixon multiplication laws. C equals B. B J A plus B J equals a minus B J A plus B J C plus D J equals a c minus d b plus b c plus d a j Display style display style C equals B O plus B J A plus B J carrot asterisk equals a carrot asterisk B J A plus B J C plus D J equals A C D carrot asterisk B plus B C carrot asterisk plus da J. To check this, note that B and B J are orthogonal, since J is orthogonal to B. If A is in B, then J A. Topic a asterisk j since by orthogonal zero two j a asterisk topic j a minus a asterisk j the formula for the involution follows to show that b b j is closed under multiplication note that b j J B since B J is orthogonal to one B J asterisk equals minus B J B C J topic C B J since B J zero so that for X in A B C J X Topic B J X J C J minus B J X C asterisk. Topic minus C B J X asterisk Minus C B J X asterisk equals C B J X J C B equals J B C taking adjoints above B J C J Topic minus C asterisk B since B C J Zero, so that for x in A, B J, C J, X. Topic minus C J X asterisk B J B X asterisk C J J equals minus C asterisk B X, imposing the multiplicativity of the norm on C for a plus B J and C plus D J gives a two plus B two C 
2 plus d 2 equals a c minus d b 2 plus b c plus d a 2 Display style display style a carrot two plus b carrot two c carrot two plus d carrot two equals a c d carrot asterisk b carrot two plus b c carrot asterisk plus da carrot two, which leads to a c d b equals b c D A display style display style A C D caret asterisk B equals B C caret asterisk da. Hence D A C equals D A C, so that B must be associative. This analysis applies to the inclusion of R in C and C in H. Taking O. Topic. H H with the product and inner product above gives a noncommutative non-associative algebra generated by J. Zero one. This recovers the usual definition of the octonions or Cayley numbers. If A is a Euclidean algebra, it must contain R. If it is strictly larger than R, the argument above shows that it contains C. If it is larger than C, it contains H. If it is larger still, it must contain O. But there the process must stop, because O is not associative. In fact H is not commutative and A B J equals B A J does not equal A B J in O theorem. The only Euclidean Hurwitz algebras are the real numbers, the complex numbers, the quaternions and the octonions. Equals Topic: Other proofs. Topic: the proofs of Lee 1948 and Chevalier 1954 use Clifford algebras to show that the dimension n of A must be 1, 2, 4 or 8. In fact the operators L A with A 1 0 satisfy L A 2 equals minus a 2 and so form a real Clifford algebra. If A is a unit vector, then L A is skew adjoint with square minus I. So N must be even. The real Clifford algebra and its complexification act on the complexification of A, an n-dimensional complex space. Since N is even, N minus 1 is odd, so the Clifford algebra has exactly two complex irreducible representations of dimension 2 N, 2 minus 1. So this power of 2 must divide n. It is easy to see that this implies n can only be 1, 2, 4 or 8. The proof of Ekman 1954 uses the representation theory of finite groups, or the projective representation theory of elementary abelian 2 groups, known to be equivalent to the representation theory of real Clifford algebras. Indeed, taking an orthonormal basis A of the orthogonal complement of 1 gives rise to operators UE equals L A satisfying U I 2 equals minus I U I U J equals minus u j u i i does not equal j 
Display style display style u underscore i caret two equals i u underscore i u underscore j equals u underscore j u underscore i i n e q j. This is a projective representation of a direct product of n minus one groups of order two. N is assumed to be greater than one. The operators ui by construction are skew symmetric and orthogonal. In fact Ekman constructed operators of this type in a slightly different but equivalent way. It is in fact the method originally followed in Hurwitz 1923. Assume that there is a composition law for two forms x 1 2 plus plus x n 2 y 1 2 plus plus y n 2 equals z 1 2 plus plus z n 2 Display style display style x underscore one carrot two plus c d o t s plus x underscore n carrot two y underscore one carrot two plus c d o t s plus y underscore n carrot two equals z underscore one carrot two plus c d o t s plus z underscore n carrot two, where z is bilinear in x and y, thus. Z I equals J equals one N A I J X Y J Display style display style z underscore i equals sum underscore j equals one caret n a underscore i j x y underscore j, where the matrix T x equals a i j is linear in x. The relations above are equivalent to T x T x T equals x 1 2 plus plus x n 2 display style display style t x t x caret t equals x underscore 1 caret 2 plus c d o t s plus x underscore n caret 2 writing T x equals T one x one plus plus T n x n Display style display style t x equals t underscore one x underscore one plus c d o t s plus t underscore n x underscore n. The relations become t i t j t plus t j t i T equals two delta I J I display style display style T underscore I T underscore J carrot T plus T underscore J T underscore I carrot T equals two delta underscore I J I now set V Topic T N T T thus V N I and the V one V N minus one air skew adjoint orthogonal satisfying exactly the same relations as the UIs 
v i 2 equals minus i v i v j equals minus v j v i i does not equal j Display style display style v underscore i caret two equals i v underscore i v underscore j equals v underscore j v underscore i i n e q j. Since v is an orthogonal matrix with square minus i on a real vector space, n is even. Let G be the finite group generated by elements v such that v i Two equals epsilon v i v j equals epsilon v j v i i does not equal j Display style display style v underscore i caret two equals var epsilon v underscore i v underscore j equals var epsilon v underscore j v underscore i i n e q j, where epsilon is central of order two. The commutator subgroup G G is just formed of one and epsilon. If n is odd this coincides with the center while if n is even the center has order 4 with extra elements γ equals v1 vn-1 and epsilon γ. If g in g is not in the center its conjugacy class is exactly g and epsilon g. Thus there are 2 n minus 1 plus 1 conjugacy classes for n odd and 2 n minus 1 plus 2 for n even. G has G G G. Topic 2 n minus 1 1 dimensional complex representations. The total number of irreducible complex representations is the number of conjugacy classes. So since n is even, there are two further irreducible complex representations. Since the sum of the squares of the dimensions equals, g, and the dimensions divide, g, the two irreducibles must have dimension 2, n minus 2, 2. When n is even, there are two and their dimension must divide the order of the group, so as a power of two, so they must both have dimension two, n minus two, two. The space on which the vis act can be complexified. It will have complex dimension n. It breaks up into some of complex irreducible representations of G, all having dimension two, n minus two, two. In particular this dimension is n, so n is less than or equal to 8. If n 6, the dimension is 4, which does not divide 6. So n can only be 1, 2, 4 or 8. Topic. Applications to Jordan algebras Let A be a Euclidean Hurwitz algebra and let Minnesota a be the algebra of n by n matrices over A. It is a unital non-associative algebra with an involution given by x i j equals x j i Display style display style x underscore i j caret asterisk equals x underscore g caret asterisk. The trace T R x is defined as the sum of the diagonal elements of x and the real valued trace by T R R x equals re T R x. The real valued trace satisfies T R R 
x y equals t r r y x t r r x y z equals t r r x y z Display style operator name tr underscore math bfr x y equals operator name tr underscore math bfr y x q quad operator name tr underscore math bfr x y z equals operator name tr underscore math bfr x y z. These are immediate consequences of the known identities for n equals one. In A, define the associator by A B C equals A B C minus A B C. Display style display style A B C equals a B C ab C. It is trilinear and vanishes identically if A is associative. Since A is an alternating algebra, A A B topic zero and B A A zero. Polarizing it follows that the associator is anti-symmetric in its three entries. Note also that a, b or c lie in R then the a, b, c equals zero. This implies that M3 a has certain commutation properties. In fact if x is a matrix in M3 a with real entries on the diagonal then x x 2 equals a i Display style display style x x caret two equals i. With a in a, in fact, if y equals x x two, then y i j equals k x i k x k x j. Display style display style y underscore i j equals sum underscore k l x underscore ik x underscore k l x underscore l j. Since the diagonal entries of x are real, the off diagonal entries of y vanish. Each diagonal entry of y is a sum of two associators involving only off diagonal terms of x since the associators are invariant under cyclic permutations the diagonal entries of y are all equal let hn be the space of self adjoint elements in minnesota with product xy topic one half x y plus y x and inner product x y T R R x y theorem H N A is a Euclidean Jordan algebra if A is associative the real numbers complex numbers or quaternions and N three or if A is non-associative the octonions and N equals three. The exceptional Jordan algebra hydrogen oxide is called the Albert algebra after A. A. Albert. To check that H n a satisfies the axioms for a Euclidean Jordan algebra, note that the real trace defines a symmetric bilinear form with x, x. Topic <laughs> x i j two. So it is an inner product. It satisfies the associativity property Z X Y X Z Y because of the properties of the real trace. 
The main axiom to check is the Jordan condition for the operators L x defined by L x y equals x y L x L x two equals zero. Display style display style L x L x caret two equals zero. This is easy to check when A is associative, since Minnesota A is an associative algebra, so a Jordan algebra with x y equals one half x y plus y x when A equals O and N. Topic three: A special argument is required. One of the shortest being due to Freudenthal, 1951. In fact, if T is in hydrogen oxide with TrT zero, then d x equals T x minus x T display style display style d x equals t x x t defines a skew adjoint derivation of hydrogen oxide. Indeed, t r t x x two minus t x two x equals T R T A I equals T R T A equals zero Display style operator name T R T X X carrot two T X carrot two X equals operator name T R T I equals operator name T R T A equals zero. So that D X X two equals zero. Display style d x x caret two equals zero. Polarizing yields d x y z plus d y z x plus d z x y equals zero display style d x y circ z plus d y z circ x plus d z x circ y equals zero setting z topic one shows that d is skew adjoint the derivation property d x y D x y plus x d y follows by this and the associativity property of the inner product in the identity above. With a and n as in the statement of the theorem, let k be the group of automorphisms of E equals h n o, leaving invariant the inner product. It is a closed subgroup of O e, so a compact Lie group. Its Lie algebra consists of skew adjoint derivations. Freudenthal 1951 showed that given x in E there is an automorphism k in k such that k x is a diagonal matrix by self adjointness the diagonal entries will be real Freudenthal's diagonalization theorem immediately implies the Jordan condition since Jordan products by real diagonal matrices commute on Minnesota A for any non associative algebra A to prove the diagonalization theorem, take x in E by compactness k can be chosen in k minimizing the sums of the squares of the norms of the off-diagonal terms of k x. Since k preserves the sums of all the squares, this is equivalent to maximizing the sums of the squares of the norms of the diagonal terms of k x. 
Replacing x by kx, it can be assumed that the maximum is attained at x since the symmetric group Sn, acting by permuting the coordinates, lies in k. If x is not diagonal, it can be supposed that x12 and its adjoint x21 are non zero. Let T be the skew adjoint matrix with 2, 1 entry A, 1, 2 entry minus a asterisk and 0 elsewhere and let D be the derivation add T of E. Let K T Topic. E x P T D in K then only the first two diagonal entries in X T KTX differ from those of X the diagonal entries are real. The derivative of X11 T at T topic 0 is the 1, 1 coordinate of T, X, i.e. a asterisk X21 plus X12 a 2 X21 a this derivative is non-zero if a topic x21. On the other hand, the group Kt preserves the real valued trace. Since it can only change x11 and x22, it preserves their sum. However, on the line x plus y, constant x2 plus y2 has no local maximum only a global minimum a contradiction hence x must be diagonal topic see also multiplicative quadratic form radon hurwitz number equals equals notes